Welcome to our video series, Electrical Contact Fundamentals. This is Alan Huffness. This session deals with the attachment of electrical contacts. The universal requirements for an electrical contact system are reliability, high conductivity, thermal stability, and cost. Each one of these has to be considered when designing an electrical contact uh, system that is required to perform certain function and do it reliably, consistently, and at relatively low cost. So if we talk about the different uh, methods of attaching contacts to their support members, terminals or blades, uh, the first one is contact rivets. It's a very cost-effective process, uh, especially with composite or bimetal contact rivets. Solid rivets would only be used if the contact is required to uh, be performed on both sides of the contact, such as a center blade in a uh, two-way switch. Uh, but generally, uh, the electrical contact designer will use a composite or bimetal rivet, which is a very inexpensive contact. You have to worry about different coefficients of expansion and mechanical stress uh, due to the fact that a, it, you strictly have a mechanical joint. There's no welding involved. So that mechanical joint can actually degrade with uh, heating and cooling of a contact system, uh, something to be avoided. Contact buttons are generally used where Contact rivet might ordinarily be used, but you're going to experience relatively high temperatures or high swings of temperature from low to high. These contacts are welded to a terminal or a blade, and generally the, the weld is relatively small area, but it remains constant over long periods of time, regardless of the electrical and mechanical stress. Wire welding is an automated electrical contact attachment process, which is used by many manufacturers to minimize cost if volumes are relatively high. There's a relatively small area of connection, but at the same time, that connection remains consistent over long periods of time and with relatively large swings in temperature. It's used for large volume applications uh, where that application can support the investment of automation. Contact tape welds are another type of highly automated welding solution, but it requires a clad contact tape that will have the contact material on the surface. Generally, it will have a, a center layer of highly conductive copper, and then the lower layer would be higher resistance material that will weld properly to a terminal or contact blade. They're used for larger contacts and they're less cost effective than say a rivet or a wire weld type contact. But in a high temperature application where a welding button would be applicable, contact tape welding is generally an alternative, a good alternative for high volume contact applications. Brazing is another method for attaching electrical contact to a backing member. It is definitely an advantage over welding or staking when it comes to very high current, high force applications. But at the same time, it's probably the most expensive process. It's not cost effective, but it's a very good high quality contact backing joint. For more information, go to the technical resources section of ppbrain.com. That's where you'll find more tips from our experts, including a guide to troubleshooting common electrical contact problems. Thank you.